What's going on guys, Scoby here, back with a brand new video for you all again today. Back with more TKC, this is the finale. Obviously this is not uh, the actual race finale, this is the first practice qualifying session that they do. They do a combined practice and qualifying when there are more carts out there, so because there was a good turnout today, it's 5 minutes for practice, 5 minutes for qualifying in the same cart. It's pretty nice because you get to have hot tires kind of set yourself up how you want to for uh, qualifying but they did it a little bit interesting here where they just like didn't start the race I guess they just let us run laps for five minutes and then started the race so I couldn't actually see what lap times I was running during practice at all even though I there is a view of the TVs on this track you can get a pretty good idea of what you're running while you're racing I didn't know in the moment, which was a little upsetting because I had actually come to the track the night before because I needed to get a hotel to come to this event. It was a whole like five hours away from me or something and because the event was early, like 6, 7 a.m., I had to be up and ready. Um, I would have needed to be up at like 2 a.m. to get out to this race had I uh, not gotten a hotel. So I came the night before and I had a baseline for what my times were going to be. Got a good switch back there after he clipped that wall. I, I was just waiting for him to make a mistake. Then I got passed by this guy. Um, and this is actually the guy I was about to mention. When I came to the track the night before, I got some practice in with this guy who just passed me now. And we were both running really similar times. So I was really curious to know what I was running, especially when he jumped back in front of me here. And you're going to start to see he actually starts to kind of run away from me. While we were practicing last night, he didn't really run away from me at all. We were running pretty much the same line. I think I had a slightly better time than him, but he was ahead of me, so it's a little bit easier to follow than to set the line yourself out front. Um, but he was starting to pull away from me here, and that had me worried. I wanted to know if he was just continuing to get better at the track, or if I was falling back in a bad cart, not running as fast as I should be. It left me with a lot of questions going into qualifying, and um, that's that's not what you want. You want practice to answer your questions so you know what you've got going into qualifying. So when I didn't know, it was definitely very confusing. Now that this is my fifth race in the series, like I kind of understand where I'm at. I'm not the slowest driver in any of these races. I'm going to compete with somebody. There's somebody that I'm going to be able to pass or get by or run around very close with, no matter what. So, but at the same time, I'm also not necessarily the fastest. There are guys that I can learn from. There are a lot of very, very talented drivers. So, I've gotten used to kind of being, I'll say mid-pack, kind of towards the front. But, it's just really hard when you're on a track that you don't know. And you have no idea how good everybody else is. You have no idea what kind of times they're running. I think I was the second or third practice. I don't remember exactly. So I had seen what they were running for their practice and qualifying times. But I still didn't really know what I was going to end up running. Because the track changes so much. Uh, this track being a short, very slick track. Once it gets heat in it and once the carts all get heat in their tires. Have less gas in them because this is gas and it's... The weight goes down throughout the carts throughout the day. Uh, the times get slightly different. So, um, obviously we try to keep everything as fair as we can, but uh, the times are going to change throughout the day. The track is going to change throughout the day. That's normal in racing. And um, especially one night to the next, the times are definitely going to change. So, uh, you, you want to have as much information as possible. And I did not have all the information that I was hoping for. The only thing I knew is that the kid that I was basically matching yesterday was now running away from me. And that's not the mindset you want to have going into a hot lap. I had been trying so hard to chase him, now I'm worried I'm going to try to get too much out of it, but if I'm consciously worrying that I am falling back and might try to get too much out of it, I might not get enough out of it. And when you've already had both of those thoughts in your helmet, you're in a bad spot. You're overthinking way too much. And once you start overthinking like that, it is very, very hard to like lock back in and just drive your car. 
especially knowing that this guy is still right in front of me. Every time I do something right and make a move or make time up on him, and every time I do something wrong and he makes time up on me, I'm just thinking all the time. I haven't been so in my head so much, but this being the finale, I was really, really wanting to know. So right here through that lap was the uh, end of practice, the beginning of qualifying. So this is going to be the first lap that counts and we're going to start to be able to see our times on the board. It's a little bit hard to see on the video. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to read it, but just keep in mind that once that happens, I've got a better idea of what I'm doing. And once I can see my times, it makes it a little bit easier for me to start working them down. So there's a TV on the back stretch right there. The start finishes through that corner. And then right there in, um, before that first hairpin turn, there's another TV to see your time. So, uh, like I said, I was just way too in my head throughout this race. And being the finale, I want to qualify well. I want to do well. I am pretty much tied for third in points going into this race. I think I'm slightly behind after the... Uh, the bad week that I had in Wallingford so I really really want to do good during this race and try to stay on the podium for the TKC because that would just be kind of huge for me I kind of went into this season expecting to finish pretty much last among full-time drivers I've only got like a year of karting experience and I mean it's a lot more karting in one year than I would say most people can get in I acknowledge that but it's still not as much experience as a lot of the drivers, I thought. So, I I just was really, really hoping that I could do well during this race. And knowing that I had a shot to stay on the podium going into this race was extremely exciting. I really, really wanted to do well. That being said, <laughs> the uh, guy that I was fighting with for points is extremely fast here. Uh, the kid behind me that I was also fighting with for points is not the track record holder but he was the junior track record holder so like he had the fast lap in the mini carts because he had been coming there so much as a kid and he got promoted to the big carts he actually qualified on pole um he wasn't in my qualifying session he was in a later session but he qualified on pole and ended up starting the race from the front at his home track he had an amazing day too so there was a really good shot that he was going to knock both me and the person who was currently in second place, Nathan, off of the podium. So I was just really anxious. I really, really wanted to have a good day. My qualifying laps were getting better and better, but I just, like I said, I didn't know at this point where everybody else was going to qualify and how I was going to do. I think I ended up, or not think, I don't know why I'm not confident enough when I, I know what I remember. I qualified into the third group, second fastest in the third group, which wasn't really where I wanted to be. I, I would have really liked to be at least in the second group, so I would have had a chance to win my way into the fast group. Coming from the third group, I would need to win my group and then start from the back and win the next group to make it up into the A group. And really, I need to be in the A fast group to have enough points to stay on the podium because there's a good chance the other guys on the podium are all going to be in the fast group today. So I was really, really hoping that I could put it in the fast group. I ended up in the third group, unfortunately, which really kind of set the tone for the day. Um, from there, I was kind of stuck where I was. Obviously, you're going to see more of the videos, but some pretty decent laps that I think I got in here just still trying to practice for the rest of the event that guy right there moved out of my way which I was a little worried about because he was the cart who blocked me all of the last race I didn't know if he was still going to be upset thankfully he didn't seem to be or at least respected qualifying procedures and hopefully we can be done with whatever that was now uh, I we didn't like talk or anything about it I'm not too concerned about it but it, it seems like we're good if he's not holding a grudge there because that would have been the spot to do it but um yeah I ended up getting some pretty decent laps in, some pretty decent practice in. Not exactly the practice qualifying that I wanted. Like I said, I would have liked to do a lot better, but hey, it's the first time at a track. I can't expect to be elite everywhere that I go. Next time that we come here, if 
uh, the TKC comes here again, I'll have more experience and I'll be able to put in a slightly more competitive day, hopefully anyway. But, um, you know, lesson learned. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video here. You see the yellow flags come on. I'm still sending it just to try to get as much information about what the track is like and about the carts as I can. But uh, the times are done being counted, and we're pulling pits now. Uh, the points videos, there is a sprint and a final, I think, left to do of TKC and the podium. So I'll post all that in the lot, or not all that, the next two videos, I guess. So yeah, keep, keep a lookout for those. More TKC coming soon.